Good evening. Tonight we are talking wildfires and it is scary dry here in southern Colorado right now. Odds of improvement anytime soon appear to be uh, slim to none. A majority of our state experiencing drought right now and it's especially bad here in southern Colorado. News 5 Zach Thaxton here in studio with our top story tonight with a look at what it means for all of us as we head into the heart of the summer. Zach. Yeah, guys, it hasn't been this dry to start the month of June since 2012 and 2013. The years when the Waldo Canyon and Black Forest fires burned more than 850 homes in El Paso County alone and it looks to get worse before it gets better. No outdoor fireplaces, no outdoor burning, no smoking outdoors. El Paso County now under stage two fire restrictions. It means even charcoal grilling and backyard fire pits are no longer allowed in unincorporated areas. Southern Colorado is getting bone dry. Green grasses are quickly drying out, making any flame an imminent threat for wildfire. We decided today that based on the, the predictions for moisture content in the next couple of days, that we weren't going to waste any more time. Here's a look at Colorado's drought situation exactly one year ago. Nowhere experiencing any level of drought, just a couple of pockets of abnormally dry. Here's how things look now. Two thirds of the state in some level of drought, the entire southern third in extreme or exceptional drought. Mike Daniels says we have cool Pacific waters to blame. Once that La Nina kicked in and pushed the storm truck well up to the north of us, all the storms that contain the moisture we need so badly were shifted up to the north of us. So after September, we had real dry conditions for throughout the fall, throughout the winter, and most of the spring as well. Our snowfall on Pikes Peak this year, as we measured it on north and south slopes of Pikes Peak, was about 40% of average. Colorado Springs Utilities says despite the drought, they've got plenty of water set aside, so lawns won't dry up from watering restrictions, at least not this year. Fortunately, we're coming out of about four years of average to above average snowpack and our customer demand has been down for the past several years. So our storage situation is actually pretty good give, given the conditions. But echoes ring loudly from the last time it was this dry. Here's 2012 and 2013 compared to right now. We are at a stage that is uh, exactly the same as 2012 and 2013. The fuels are dry, they are plentiful, and the heat is, uh, is a problem. I also spoke with Parks and Wildlife today. They tell me John Martin Reservoir in Bent County is less than half full right now. The next drought monitor map will be released Thursday morning. Always watching out for you. Zach Thaxton, News 5.